it is really difficult for people to value art and which is why I guess NFTs are a bit of a <laughs> uh, an alien you know because people do not understand why uh, some of the, these artworks go for so so much purchased both of them each for $66,000 and I sold that for 6.6 .6 million. Right now it seems like a bit of a fairy tale, right? Like you can go make this NFT and sell it, get a bunch of money, great. And maybe for a few that's the case, but mostly for everybody, probably not. NFTs, this has basically been promoted by cryptocurrency promoters looking for the next worthless magic bean that they could sell for actual money. An NFT is a digital certificate of ownership, provenance, and history. Just a certificate the same way that you would have of your car if you have one, but instead of being by a central authority in the place that you live, this is on a public ledger uh, that everybody can access, that the technology really proves, mathematically proves, both the provenance, the history, and the current ownership of that particular asset that is tied to the NFT. I think I really purchased it for very little. People didn't realize the force that was behind the career of Beepo, that he has had some discipline for the last 14 years without missing a single day of releasing illustrations. He had been partnering with all the top institutions around the world. He was a leader, a clear leader and symbol for the NFT space. Not me nor anybody would predict such a high increase in such a short period of time. Of course, there was a flood of NFTs on the market immediately, as everyone thought, woohoo, I'm an artist, I can finally get paid. Some artists have done really well out of this. Most haven't. We also have to remember, cryptocurrencies are really hard to use for normal people. If people actually tried to use the blockchain ever, they'd discover that it sucks. We really had a tough time. There's so many things that needs to be understood before you got into NFTs. Minting an artwork is basically a term we use to define the fact of encrypting an artwork into the blockchain. So what happens generally when you mint something is that you go to your preferred platform and you pay what we call a gas fee because you have to understand and see the blockchain as a car that has little blocks and to make those blocks move where your artwork is in their way to be published, you have to put some gas in. As the cryptocurrency's value goes up, the gas fees get more and more expensive. Sometimes you can pay like hundreds of dollars. A couple of the big artists, sure, they can make some money, but all the smaller guys in between and they're trying to sort of go after that gold rush. You know, how many of them are getting kind of hosed for all these fees and stuff and they can't sell because the market maybe isn't sustainable for that many people. I'm sort of fortunate that my fan following is big enough that I think if something is taken from mine, Eventually, I hear about it. I'm pretty used to having my artwork stolen, and this was just another different way it was being stolen. What's the point of having an authenticated piece of artwork if anyone can post a picture and authenticate it? That was the irony of my situation. Platforms, every platforms are super inclined to help whenever you come across this situation. I have faced it myself already. A lot of the really curated platforms, they ask you to send a video of yourself, to identify yourself, uh, talk about your work, etc. It was also like, I was a little bit concerned because the NFT market has a certain negative connotation around it. And 
forms of like environmental impact and things like that. And I've seen other artists getting a lot of heat for posting stuff on NFTs and things like that. And it worried me because I didn't want people to come after me in some negative way. I'm going to be completely honest. I have a lot of breakdowns <laughs> when it comes to that. When I actually discovered about the environment aspect, I even started minting less and less because I don't want to be associated with destroying the planet. I would go so far as to call Bitcoin and Ethereum's proof of work mining system a crime against humanity. Every Ethereum transaction has a carbon load of at least 30 kilograms and uses like hundreds of kilowatt hours of electricity just to run a transaction through. Ethereum will continue to operate exactly the same, even if tomorrow we say, okay, we stop minting all NFTs. While it is true that we need to work towards better options for mitigating the effects of Ethereum in the environment, I think that publicly shaming artists is not the way to go. And they keep saying that they're going to move to a better system, but they've been saying that since 2014. And I will believe they've done it when they've done it. We're going to see billions, trillions of NFTs flowing in the next few years. It's like the internet where you don't say I'm going to send you an email through the internet. It's implied in the background. I think we're moving towards that same thing where assets and in particular digital assets will be certified through NFTs. Nothing about this is about the technology. NFTs are all about the people and the flows of cash. I don't want to be involved right now, maybe a couple of years from now, and definitely the environmental impact needs to be addressed. Also, just having a secure platform that curates a little bit. NFTs for a lot of people, it's about getting that life security. I am really relieved that I actually make a living out of NFTs, yes.